Hello everybody, what's up? I'm here again with another RAM upgrade on the computer. This time we're using a dual channel kit, Team Group Elite RAM, DDR4, two 16 gigabyte sticks, 2400 megahertz, a lifetime warranty, ultra reliable, blazing fast, high performance. <clears throat> There's a Team Group uh, 32 gigabyte uh, RAM stick kit we have here. The timings, uh, 16, 16, 16, 39, 1.2 volts, 16 gigabytes, DDR4, 2400 megahertz. See the package, I just got this in. Uh, this cost me about $60 on Amazon. <clears throat> Good deals on RAM right now, so if you want to buy some RAM, go to Amazon. <laughs> Take a look in the back. And it's different languages. We want English. Team Group's Elite Series featured uh, JDEC International Standard Designs. The Elite Series has been manufactured after passing strict tests in the boast and boast excellent quality and high stability and comp compatibility. Um, and people are gonna say, does this clock down if my uh, motherboard only supports twenty one thirty three and doesn't support twenty four hundred? I have no idea. It doesn't show here that it does. <clears throat> So it's maybe fixed at 2400 megahertz, I don't know. So let's upgrade the computer. The computer we're upgrading today is an HP Elite Book. I'll show it to you in a minute. But let's pop this RAM open and get inside there. Okay, we popped the back of the computer open. As you can see, when I bought the computer, it only had um, one RAM stick inserted. And the RAM stick that it had inserted is a... Let's take a look at it uh 32 gigs of dual rank memory and 2666 so it's the wrong voltage basic i mean it's the wrong um speed that's what you get for buying a <laughs> a pc online they don't do dual channel they always give you a single channel so i'm going to have to sell this online um but yeah let's take a look at the new ram kit we have here as you can see in their black sticks pretty cool 16 gigabytes each team elite group warranty if removed so let's remove these and put them on the computer as you can see here they are bang bang and these are dual channel ram sticks so remember always insert the um the bottom of the stick first and then push down and should click in place in there let's get the second ram stick out of here and in the computer. I believe they're both face down. Yeah. And press down. Make sure they're correctly seated. We have that there. Now let's close the computer and let's turn it on. Go in BIOS and make sure everything is working correctly. We'll check out CPU Z and we'll check out um, task manager and all that good stuff. So let's close this up, turn it on, and see if it worked. All right, so we have the dual channel RAM installed. Let's turn on the PC and see what we get. I might have to hit escape to get into BIOS. <clears throat> I see life in the computer. Let's just wait a second. Sorry for the delay there. So we get this post error, post configuration change props, two E1 memory size error. The system memory size is a different size from the last startup. The most common reason is the removal of memory from the system board. Press enter, record the new configuration. If the message persists, verify the modules are installed correctly. Okay, I'll press enter. And let's see what we get. Let's see if we can enter BIOS here. <clears throat> If not, we'll do a reboot and try to enter BIOS again. Okay, no, so we didn't enter BIOS. Let's do a reboot. And we'll see if it is running. If both sticks are recognized, if both sticks are dual channel, we'll take a look in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so we have the computer restarting. We will see. System startup prompt, press escape to enter BIOS on this machine. Ah, okay, so we have we have to go to system information first. 
so HP Elite Book, Whiskey Lake, memory size, 32 gigs of memory right there. System BIOS, updated this year. Let's go to more options. Let's actually go into the BIOS configuration. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. Okay, so it doesn't tell us here. It just told us there. Oh, interest information. Okay, got it right here. Yep, same thing, 32 gigs of RAM, BIOS version, Elite Book, Whiskey Lake processor. Let's see if we can have any other <clears throat> options here. Hyper threading, I guess not. So it does, it rec BIOS does recognize it as 32 gigs. So let's exit. And let's go into, um, task manager and then CPU Z and CPU Z will tell us if it's dual channel RAM that it's running oh and another thing I forgot I'll mention it in a little bit let's just wait for this to reload kind of like cold startup when you put something in new <laughs> takes a while to recognize but we'll see We will see what the task manager and what CPU Z will tell us. Let me log in my Windows. And this is Windows running on Windows 11, by the way. Okay. So let's take a look. <clears throat> Everything seems fine. Just wait for it to load. Yeah, Steam updating. All right. Let's right click, open Task Manager. Let's take a look what Task Manager tells us here. Okay. CPU, Core i7, perfect. Memory, 32 gigs of RAM. Oh, let's make sure we can see all of it here. <laughs> 32 gigs of RAM, 26 available, 3.3 cached, wow, <laughs> page file, non-page file, 2400 megahertz, perfect, this machine supports 2400 megahertz max, two of two slots populated, and it tells us what we're using, 2400 megahertz each sodium, so yes, it recognized 32 gigabytes of system RAM, so this is amazing. This is recognizing dual channel. Let's see if it recognizes dual channel though. Let's go to CPU Z. Open that up. CPU Z loading. <clears throat> okay. Tells us here what we have, what kind of socket we have, what kind of processor we have. And let's take a look at the memory. 32 gigabytes of RAM. Dual channel. Perfect. So it's recognizing it at dual channel. So it's dual channel RAM, perfect. All right. So it's amazing, it recognizes everything correctly. Um, but yeah, there we go, dual channel. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So it is recognized really well, perfect. And also when you buy this team, uh, team fortress, you get also a instruction manual, I guess, to teach you how to put in the, uh, the RAM in there. Well, let's open it up and take a look. Sorry, give me one second. Let me just set the camera down. I'm not like a professional videographer or anything like any of these channels do. Yeah. Disconnect power. Slide the RAM in. Boom, boom. Tells me what not to do. And that's it. Perfect, guys. So I'd recommend this RAM. Yes, I do. It's very inexpensive. It runs at well, only if you have 24 megahertz. I believe they do make other kits that are like 2133, 2400, which is this one, 266, uh, 2933, 3000, or 3200. And people are gonna think, can I just buy a sync? Can I just buy a kit of 3200 memory RAM and install it on my computer and it automatically will downclock it to my speed? I was like, yes, you can do that, but the danger in doing that is the uh, latency, the latency on those uh, RAM kits because it's running at such such a high speed. Speed, 
you're gonna have a very very bad latency for example the uh, PNY RAM that I put in the other computer 32 gigabytes that latency is latency 22 this one is latency 16 and the timings on this are faster than the other RAM but it runs at a slower clock speed so I don't know if you guys want to do that if you guys want to do that go ahead but I rather buy the maximum RAM supported for each system I don't like just buying the highest and down clocking it especially on laptops some of the laptops don't have as XM XMP enabled so yeah guys uh, yeah I recommend this RAM it runs in dual channel just like a claim team group is a good brand very good reliable and it's a very good price only cost me uh, around sixty dollars free shipping next day shipping and especially if you're running it on a laptop you need dual channel RAM single channel RAM will not do it and you probably got you probably you guys are probably thinking why don't you just buy a single RAM stick and just add it with this I can't do that because the system's max supported RAM is 32 gigs and this is 32 gigs I can't buy like a two a two gigabyte stick and just slap it in there <laughs> or a four gigabyte stick and slap it in there you know and this is two, 2666 anyway so it's it's being down clocked by the system which I believe hinder, hinders performance that's my opinion there um, but anyways guys you have any questions about this team elite or group team elite team group elite ram let me know but yeah i recommend it it's a win-win the system recognizes it oh and but when you buy ram make sure it's the frequency like i said the frequency supported the maximum ram supported for your system don't just go buying out any <laughs> ram and expect it to run and it's not running at correct speed but yeah there it is 32 gigs Okay, guys, thank you for watching.